Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this World Skills Mastercam tutorial series, Machining Your Part. Last episode, we went over the process to rough and finish the second side. In this episode, join me as we walk through importing our fixtures, setting up the simulation, and generating the G-code. To have the simulation run properly, we will need to have everything correctly defined in Mastercam as it were on the machine. That includes setting up our vice fixture. To start, select the view sheet for the first side. Now, to import the vice model, go to the file tab to access the backstage view. Then select the merge command. With the file open dialog box displayed, we can locate the vice model. After selecting the file, investigate to ensure the bounding box wireframe created is seated on the parallels of the vise. Double check your vise setup compared to the model. If needed, adjust the model using the position options available in the Merge Pattern Function panel. When finished, select OK to accept the merge location. With the vise imported, we need to add it to the machine group setup to be used in simulation. Scroll to the top of the Toolpaths Manager if needed. Under the Properties of the Machine Group, select Files. Now, go to the Work Holding page and select the Fixtures checkbox. Select Add from a Level to display the Select Level dialog box. Depending on your configuration settings, the levels might look different. Select the levels needed, in this case, Level 500. Select OK in the Levels dialog box. Under the Simulation page, select the Machine drop-down, then select the 3-axis VMC at the top of the list. Select OK to accept the changes made to the Machine Group setup. To launch the simulation and see the machine in action, first select Toolpath Group 1 and all the first side operations. Now. Go to the top of the Toolpaths Manager and select Verify Selected Operations. With the Mastercam Simulator window open, select the Simulation Mode under the Home tab. If needed, use the Visibility options under the Home tab to turn features on, translucent, or off. Simulating the toolpaths like this helps detect any collisions between the stock, tools, holders, and fixtures before sending the code to the machine. When you are finished, exit the simulator and re-enter Mastercam. Now, using the same steps as before, merge in the second side vise. Select it as your main fixture in the machine group setup, and simulate the second side toolpaths. As we wrap up this series, let's go ahead and generate the G-code. If you want to select all the operations at once, you can use the Select All Operations at the top of the Toolpaths Manager. Otherwise, select the Toolpath group for the operations you wish to select. With your operations selected, use the Post Selected Operations button. Inside of the Post Processing dialog box, Make sure Edit is turned on so the file opens automatically. Set the radio button to Ask and select OK. Now, if you only selected one of the toolpath groups, a warning dialog box displays. This is letting us know that some of the toolpaths have not been selected and asks if you want to post out all of the operations. Selecting Yes will make Mastercam go back and select all of the toolpaths to generate the code. Selecting No, post out what you originally selected. Save the file where you will be able to access it later. Type in a name for your file and select Save. In a separate window, Code Expert displays. Inside, we will find a variety of tools to help analyze, edit, and send our G code to the machine. Under the Home tab, use tools like Find to help look for specific G or M code callouts like G84 for the tapping operation. Under the NC Functions tab, there are options to skip through the code to the next tool change. Well, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for joining me for this Mastercam tutorial series. Now, you are ready to begin programming your next part.